Hello everybody, welcome to the video. Today we have this awesome uh, Eagles roster, of course. Um, awesome. I don't think that there's another word for it, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's just been a super good season for football. And I think it starts with the, the Philadelphia Eagles not really being the most surprising, but definitely being, um, I expected them to win the East, but not like this. Um, obviously, you look around and all you see is a superstar development player i mean josh sweat hargrave jordan davis fletcher cox brandon graham uh bradbury gardner johnson hassan reddick recently has just been a reckoning in the uh off the edge so awesome stuff obviously 90 overall 84 overall avante maddox wasn't bad your defensive line was incredible kaiser white's probably better than marcus epps is probably the weakest spot of your roster and it's not by a lot offensively you have probably the best offensive line what am i saying probably you have the best offensive line in football uh dallas goddard's probably up there top five tight end for sure uh he could you could even make a, a case that he's better than like maybe tj hawk maybe even top three um I, it might be stretching a little bit but aj brown uh Devontae smith jalen hurts miles sanders all great pieces and behind this this oh my this offensive line you've got such a good team and imagine they had five first round picks. So in today's video, what the deal is, we're going to have to try to keep this roster the best we can, which is going to be tough, but we've got the money. So we're gonna have to bring back Jason Kelsey uh, for, I mean, it's going to be worth a pretty penny, but I don't expect anything, you know, less than that. So we'll see if he wants to sign back. He does. Uh, Jason Kelsey's back. Miles Sanders. Sure. I want to keep him for sure. Uh, five, give him four. If he doesn't come off of this, then I'm not sure what he would. Uh, Bradbury, I'm down to keep him for another year. Just trying to keep this roster together. It's a one-year thing. If he wants to re-sign back here, that's great. CJ Gardner-Johnson, he's going to need to get paid pretty well here if we're going to retain him. Uh, and then he's just not interested in signing, he said. What is the franchise tag on him? 16? I'm happy with that. I'll, I'll do that if I don't want to do it for anyone else. Go Javon Hargrave here. Uh, phenomenal player. I know Jordan Davis is probably eager to come in and play, but I'm fine paying that. Okay, Brandon Graham is probably a sign and trade guy if I do end up signing him, and then it probably stops with Marcus Epps. So I want Isaac back, and I want TJ Edwards. Probably franchise tag CJ Gardner Johnson. Uh, Edwards, if we lose him, it's not the end of the world. So I'm not really going to offer him the biggest contract, but we do retain him, so that is good for sure. Brandon Graham, like I said, he's kind of like a sign and trade candidate. So if he wants to, you know, come back for that little contract right there, that's fine. And then Isaac Samulo or Samuel Samalo, uh, Sumalo, I guess I'd, I'd say uh, I got 5.5. I'm giving 4 million on the bonus. Does he want to come back? He does. And then we'll go ahead and give CJ Gardner Johnson that franchise tag. And then Marcus Epps can walk. And well, yeah, he'll, he'll walk. Then we'll see what we can get here in free agency. I'm not sure how much better we can get. We need uh, a free safety now. So we're going to need a free safety, probably another sub linebacker, preferably on the outside, kind of like a Logan Wilson type player. Maybe address that in the draft. But uh, don't need a quarterback. Running back, we're good on. Fullback, wide receiver, we could use one. Uh, they're just really expensive. So that is what we're fighting. Uh, how, how expensive is Sterling Shepard? That is still way too expensive not willing to put that onto a receiver for sure when we can just draft one and then at tight end yeah you could use a guy to play number two behind dallas goddard your offensive line is still solid we retain pretty much everybody don't need that definitely don't need that don't need that left outside this is where i'd start to kind of maybe uh inch in if if leighton vandersh had interest i'd be so interested bobby okariki the next best thing do we want Bobby Okereke? I feel like he can come in and play that uh, that, that uh, Kaiser White role better immediately. But I feel like we can draft someone like that. But it'd be nice to just get someone in free agency regardless. Outside linebacker. Oh, Kaiser White is walking anyway. So that's a good that's a good thing. Um, and then at corner, do we need anyone? Um, we could. And uh, Byron Murphy with full interest is interesting for sure. And we'll still have some cap space after that as well. So happy with that. But at free safety, who's our best option? Nasir Adderley. I mean, I'll, I'll draft one, I guess, then. 
if that's really what you want it to come down to, maybe Antonio Johnson and then uh, CJ Gardner Johnson can move out to whatever. But we'll need someone to kind of be a security blanket. And I think that Nasir Adderley kind of fits that mold. So we'll go ahead and try to sign him if he's interested. I'm not sure how many teams. Okay, yeah. So we're going to have to give him a pretty big offer or a bigger offer for sure. Go 1.5 and bring that up to 1.5. Does that do it for him? Should be a little bit better than the Rams. Um, no, it isn't. But we'll see if we can get him. No biggie if we don't. So we're after Byron Murphy, Bobby O'Karake, and Nasir Adderley. Which ones will we come down with? All three of them. Very nicely done. Um, got some nice quality players here. And uh, we only improve our roster, which is very fun to say, as we already had such a great roster. Head to the draft here, and we'll go ahead and uh, draft probably, if I had to guess, a receiver. A Well, we got to make the trades first, though, too. I forgot about that. So we're going to have to make the trades for the first-round picks, which might give us a hole or two to fill in the draft, which I'm fine with. Um, we're going to try to keep as many second- and third-round picks as we can, uh, maybe deal out. I mean, I hate to say it, but Javon Hargrave's probably on the block to go and whatnot. So I don't know. We'll have to see how this all pans out. But let's go ahead and click the start drafting button and then pause it. And let's go ahead and make our trades now. Um, we have the 10th overall pick. Don't we have two? We have two first round picks. Very good by Howie Roseman to have two first round picks. And then a pretty late second for sure. Third, I want to keep. And then we have no other picks. We do have an extra second. I'd love to deal. Um and maybe a fifth with uh, does Kenneth Gainwell. Kenneth Gainwell played so well uh, the back half of that season. Uh, Quez Watkins, can this get us a first-round pick somewhere, like a late first? Uh, we'll see if anyone has a like, green interest in our guy here and it's going to be here, which is not likely at all. Yeah, didn't see that happening. Um, it is a little unfortunate. See if there's any more green anywhere else. But uh, I think I'll just start going uh, through some trades here. I'll do it myself. You guys don't have to watch me kind of, you know, scale it out. And first deal is done. Brandon Graham, a fourth and a second for the 30th pick, which is still pretty late, but I want to acquire kind of those later picks. Uh, but I would probably like something a little bit better. Uh, and that being said, probably first next year, and then probably pair that with a fifth and a bad player. That might work. We are so close to 18 with Milton Williams, Avante Maddox and whatnot. That is so like that is such a bummer because I don't think I want to give up anything else other than this for sure. I mean, it's so rough. We're that close. I still have Derek Barnett as well. Ah, dude, it's so frustrating. And we're this close to getting a first and a third from the Baltimore Ravens. Are you joking me right now? This is so stupid. We're gonna have to settle for like a fourth. Oh my goodness. Or give me an extra third. That's still kind of valuable. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll try for an next year third, and that is a done deal. Avante Maddox, Milton Williams, and a next year first for 23 and uh, 87 projected next year. Leaves us with 10. It leaves us with a four, so we only have to trade for one more, and we still have a second and third. I'll trade these two second and thirds, and a uh, player of my choice would probably be Javon Hargrave, but I don't know, actually. I like... Javon Hargrave more than Fletcher Cox at this point. I don't know. I have a decision to make for sure. Done deal. Fletcher Cox next year, second and third gets us 22 as well. So we're looking or we're working with 10, 22, 23, 30, and 31, 63, 95. And then next year, I mean, screw it. I'll try to trade for, I mean, like another second round pick if I can find the assets to do so. Done deal. Quez Watkins and a next year third gets us number 40 in the draft order as well so that's what we're working with ladies and gents we have ourselves a lot of picks ahead of us at number one overall i'd assume will anderson to fall off the board uh bryce young seems to be the go-to right here and then jalen carter and then you give cj stroud away then who is it here would be tyree wilson and then miles murphy and then will levis is next here to the Raiders, and then uh, I'd say a quarter, a corner, maybe Christian Gonzalez. No, Michael Mayer again. Um, and then right here, what do we got? Jordan Addison as well. It is rough. Pick player here at number 10. We're going to go ahead and try to make our first pick. Who will it be? Will it be Christian Gonzalez? Not really in position of need. Quentin Johnson would be fun. Brian Branch would be really fun as well. 
uh jackson smith and jigba here uh what do we need we i know we need like a we're gonna need a safety for sure and then we're gonna need a wide receiver and i think with uh quinn johnston so far towards the top here kind of just fits he's not like another aj brown or another player that we have i'd be fine with except like i i don't know i want I want more, and I think that we can get that towards the top of the board here with Christian Gonzalez. So, um, I don't know, just a solid corner. I feel like fun. We can find a receiver down the board for sure. I have one in mind, and uh, we'll go ahead and actually take Christian Gonzalez there. Number 11, Brian Brzee, and then Paris Johnson, Peter Skoronsky. Yeah, it, I don't know why the draft order is literally the exact same Lucas Van Ness. This is so weird um do i have to like shake up the board or something because this is literally the exact same way that it fell off last time brian branch i think is new and then devin witherspoon actually i don't think it is this is so weird joey porter i think is new maybe anthony richardson so yeah this is new dalton kincaid even falls off anywho we have the next two picks here who would we take jackson smith and jigba no Bijan robinson He's definitely considered. Like, I'm, I'm considering so hard right now. Bijan frickin' Robinson. I mean, are you kidding? How do we not? How do we not take Bijan? Okay, give me Bijan Robinson. This is crazy. We're going Bijan Robinson. An absolute stud and a half of a player. Uh, we have the very next pick as well. And this is the receiver I had in mind. It's Jackson. It's not Jackson Smith and Jibba. It's Jalen Hyatt. Absolutely flies great athlete can catch the ball well tracks the ball well love Jalen Hyatt Tennessee receiver off the board then we'll go to the next pick here's Jackson Smith and Jigba then Broderick Jones and then Cam Smith and then Jamir Gibbs and then Anton Harrison and then Antonio Johnson that would have been my pick for sure oh that's such a pain you son of a gun I can't believe that just happened I wanted him so bad. Uh, what do we need? We probably need an edge. An edge guy is uh, Nolan Smith here. I definitely want. So give me Nolan Smith. Normal development. Uh, injury concerns. Georgia, I think. Georgia is his college. And then we have 31 as well. So we got Nolan Smith maybe to come off the edge. But we're still going to need probably an end. Which would I consider BJ Ojolari at this spot? Siaki Ika being here is kind of interesting. Osiris Torrance, Darnell Wright is probably one of my favorite players in the class. Keon White is another one of my favorite players in this class. Uh, Tuli is really fun. Uh, Keishon Bouti is even pretty cool, but we're looking pretty far down the board. I do like Sydney Brown out of uh, Illinois, brother of Chase Brown. And uh, give me BJ Ojolari at this spot. BJ, welcome to the team. Um, just happy with the picks. I know we're kind of firing on um, like firing them all off here. Go to next user pick. I mean, it's not really worth going through all the all the everything. And then who do we want here? Darnell on the board is very interesting. Could use another tight end behind whatever. And he's a good blocker, I think. So we could use another tight end. I think Darnell Washington is definitely worthy of being a pick here. If we can't find anything uh, better that we like i like the developmental tackle that maybe step in for lane johnson so we have number eight and then we have number 31 so it's another big jump till our next pick do we need anything more than others probably a safety i'm not sure if sydney brown's worth taking at this spot and uh strong safeties no one i'd really consider jl skinner is pretty fun ronnie hickman down the board sure uh, i'd consider it I don't know why I'm going all the way back up towards the top when I can just go down like a couple of positions. But I think the pick here would have to be Darnell Washington, Georgia tight end, absolutely massive body that could help in the run game for sure. Let's move to our next pick, see what we can uh, take off the board here. Kalijah Kansi just goes off the board, uh, is interesting. Deontay Banks can fall to us. That's pretty fun. I like Tyreek Stevenson, just don't need him. Uh, Andre Carter is a pretty good player. Darnell Wright, obviously not on the board anymore. Avila is the same sort of deal, can kind of develop behind. Uh, Jason Kelsey, Henry Toa Toa. Chris Smith being here is interesting. But um, who do we want to go with here? Who's who's available? Who's available where? I'm just curious about that. Booties off the board probably would have been considered here. 
Don't need a tackle or not one of those tackles at least. Um, good there. Guard, I'm fine on. What other picks do we have? So we have the 31st and then the 31st in the third round. Probably good for my safety pick. Um, Andre Carter. And definitely interesting to have Andre Carter. But I'm considering middle linebacker here. Henry Toto towards the top of the board is interesting. Uh, Toto is right here. But also Jack Campbell, probably a little bit more my style. I like the way that Jack Campbell plays a little bit more. So, um, yeah, I guess give me Jack Campbell. I'm fine with that pick. I think he's an Iowa kid. I could be wrong. Yeah, Iowa. And um, I guess, yeah, let's hope for a good safety at the 31st pick. And if there isn't, then I guess we'll have to go with Nasir Adderley, and that'll be the weak point of our defense. But uh, it is. So I love I love Ronnie Hickman. Ohio State safety can do so much. He's still so young. Not much of an athlete for sure, but uh, can definitely move. And that's all that we really need. His agility is pretty good. But Ronnie Hickman off the board to us at the back end of the third round. Um one other player I do want really bad. And I'm going to actually sim to my pick just to get him. Uh, we should be able to get him at number uh, number two in the seventh round. Um, I'm not sure if we will. If he'll be off. I couldn't tell you. But I'll tell you the player I want. Trey Tucker, uh, Cincinnati receiver. Absolutely phenomenal uh, athlete, in my opinion. I, I'd love to see him succeed in the, the real league here. Puka Nakua, uh, BYU wide receiver really fun receiver actually um off the board give me trey tucker super far down here um trey tucker right here um i mean runs like the wind fast as hell just give me trey tucker love him love him uh yeah i, I think that's all that needs to be said let the the cpu take the rest and let's set up the team and look at next season and the possibilities of going to another super bowl because we've got one hell of a team so we were able to get Christian Gonzalez, B. John Robinson, Jalen Hyatt, Nolan Smith, uh, B.J. Ojolari, Darnell Washington, Jack Campbell, Ronnie Hickman, Trey Tucker, and then Daquan Finn is, I don't think, a real player, but it could be. Sorry. I mean, probably is a real player. I'm not sure if he's in the class, though. Um, really good. Really good stuff for sure. Uh, let's go to next year's start of the regular season. So we're going to sim to regular season and then I'll set up the roster and I'll let you guys know what it looks like and how we're feeling. And this is the new look team right here. Jalen Hurts, Miles Sanders, B. John Robinson, and even Kenneth Gainwell, if you want to worth mentioning him. Jalen Hyatt, A.J. Brown, uh, Devontae Smith, Trey Tucker. I'll move up into the number four spot. Mylotta, Dickerson, Kelsey, Samulo, uh, Simalo, I guess. Lane Johnson, Dallas Goddard. Uh, Darnell Washington, and then defensively, Ronnie Hickman will start up free safety with Bobby O'Karrake, uh Edwards, and Reddick up there. Jack Campbell and Nolan Smith can all really uh, take over there. Is that Darrell Taylor? It looks so much like Darrell Taylor. I know it's not, but Davion Taylor. I'm guessing they're brothers. If I if I had to take a wild guess, that is what I would guess. Um, and then who will actually be running the slots will be Byron Murphy and Devontae Smith. Bijan will get some more snaps at third down running back. Jalen Hyatt um, kind of just be the wide receiver three, kind of float around. Uh, Jordan Davis and Javon Hargrave up the inside with Hassan Reddick and Josh Sweat uh, uh, setting the edge with Nolan Smith sitting behind him and then BJ Ojolari as well. And then these two kind of patrolling the middle of the field with Ronnie Hickman. I have to step in every here and there. But uh, I think that we've got a really, really good roster. And um, I don't see why we wouldn't make a run at it. Let's go to the midseason mark, see how we're doing. And just the way we wanted to start. Five and two, very good start to the season. Next man up. I'm not really worried about any of the next year stuff or the stuff for uh, the future. Kind of just living in the moment, in the present right now, where we stand. But go ahead and actually look at the stats on the season. Wanted to see if we had any league leaders here. Jalen Hurts, 1,700 yards, very nice. Uh, Miles Sanders right here. Bijan's running for 4.7 per carry on his very limited uh, numbers for sure. Two touchdowns with Miles Sanders has 10. Absolutely absurd. Receiving wise, um, Devontae Smith leading the team. Jalen Hyatt next up, actually beating AJ Brown with four more catches as well. Um, I guess good. Um, Dallas Goddard, Bijan, Miles Sanders has been doing less with the, the touches than Bijan has. That's for sure. Darnell Washington as well. 
uh, getting a little bit involved. And Grant Calcaterra had a really, uh, really big play there. And tackles around, tied at the top, Bobby Okereke and TJ Edwards. And then TFLs to go around as well. Hassan Reddick, Jordan Davis getting the work done in the trenches. Josh Sweat and BJ Ojolari has four sacks. That came out of nowhere. BJ Ojolari getting it done. Like, unbelievable. Javon Hargrave as well, getting a sack in there as well. Jordan Davis, but five TFLs, very good. But Hassan Reddick, uh, been good for a long time now. Uh, a little underrated, actually. This last season until he absolutely exploded. I still feel like he's underrated. Christian Gonzalez is playing well. He's not playing a lot, it looks like, but he's playing well, uh, I guess, on his, his opportunities. Um, it's a little interesting. Actually, no, it's not. He's probably like corner number four behind Byron Murphy. So I guess uh, he can develop into a role once uh, Bradbury or uh, one of the other guys are out of there. So Bradbury or Darius Slay. Uh, yeah, I guess let's see the run we can make at the playoffs. I'm pretty confident. Oh my, this is just comical. This is just Madden at its finest right here. Uh, you'll never guess what happened. We didn't make the playoffs. Why? I don't know. Didn't feel like it this year. What the hell went on that made this team not make the playoffs? What the? F oh, love Madden, man. So good. So, so, so good. Teddy Bridgewater was third in the league in passing, by the way. I'm guessing he was for the Buccaneers. Uh, 4,300 yards for Jalen Hurts, 26 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Not that great. Rushing, though, he's pretty well, or pretty good. Uh, Bijan was really good on his touches. Just want to emphasize that. I think he can make the, the lunge for starting running back next year. Uh, four touchdowns as well is pretty good. But receiving, uh, Devontae Smith, the only one over 1,000. Jalen Hyatt next up with uh, 969 yards. Had a really good rookie campaign. Five touchdowns for A.J. Brown. Dallas Goddard. Was uh, targeted quite a bit. Uh, Bijan, Miles right there doing just fine. I think Bijan's probably a little bit better at this point. Uh, defensively, though, Bobby Okereke and TJ Edwards really ran away with the tackles. And then TFLs to go around. Uh, Josh Sweat and uh, 10 for Jordan Davis. And then Josh Sweat actually led the team in sacks. Ojolari only had one the last half of that season. Uh, Hassan Reddick had one and a half the last half, and Josh Sweat was the only one that continued to produce. Not a very high level, but I mean, what are you gonna do? Uh, three for or three interceptions for Byron Murphy and Darius Slay. Okereke had two. Hassan Reddick and Christian Gonzalez and TJ Edwards all had one as well. So fun stuff, good stuff, great stuff. Let's go check the dev traits of everyone though. Uh, I mean, I'm sure we all know Bijan's. Uh, we drafted who else? Jalen Hyatt. I don't, I can't remember if he's star or superstar. Could be superstar. No, he is star. And then yeah, Bijan superstar X factor for sure. I mean, absolute stud, great player. Awesome stuff. Uh, defensively, Ronnie Hickman was star development. Ojolari didn't get to reveal his, I think it's star. And then Jack Campbell's is definitely star. I know that for a damn fact. Gonzalez was superstar. Um, I really like the player. So great stuff. Um, uh, pretty good all around um the record was the only thing that wasn't good but you know it'd be good you guys left a like and uh subscribed on the video or at least considered it uh it is fun to also consider that they are both uh you can undo both actions at any time and they're both completely free see you guys next time